All right, in my last video, I made this guy. It's like a, uh, a pocket draw knife is what I'm calling it. It's, its intent is to be something that I can just literally throw in my pocket or it'll fit nicely into a small pack and I can take it out into the woods with me on a hike and whittle down rectangular stock or whatever um, and make something out of it, a, a spoon or a bow or whatever. Um, generally small projects, but you know, versatile. The problem that that proposed was now I need a way to hold the stock. Um, I don't really want to tie things down to things uh, because that's cumbersome. So what I came up with is this little guy. Um, it's a proof of concept. It's got a lot of room for improvement. But what it is is two rectangular frames with dowels stuck into it. And then what I'm calling this little clamp. Uh, I don't know if I can get it better off. There we go. This clamp that rides in these grooves. And as you pull back on the clamp, it goes up towards this upper fence. So, how I envision this being used, if I can get this back together. There we go is you set it on like a log or something you lash the back down to the log the front down to the log and then you can stick your stock inside after that you have a separate rope ideally that grabs onto the clamp goes around your waist and grabs the other side of the clamp that way when you lean back the clamp goes up towards the fence, right? So you increase the clamping force by how much you lean back. Um, I need to put grooves in here because these, the rope just keeps on falling off. But uh, I'll show you basically how this has been working. So you stick your sock inside, position it wherever you want, and then pull back. This setup is not great because it it wants to float off the table. I need to have it lashed down, but it's what I've got right now. So as I lean back, um, it applies more force to the fence and the workpiece, and it holds it pretty well. It's not, you can still move it. I'm not, I don't have all my weight into it, but it holds it pretty well. The harder I lean back, the more, the more force it puts on there. And I think it's adequate for um, like thin shavings. I don't think that I'm going to be like, if you have to hammer at this, I think it's going to be frustrating because it's going to move quite a bit. But if you're just taking, you know, small slices at a time, it's got plenty of holding power. The one thing that, one of the things that I'm finding frustrating besides this movement is that these ropes get in the way. And so you kind of have to maneuver around them. Um, to use your your knife so flat cuts become the most difficult thing it'll be better once this thing gets lashed down and then you can start actually working above the the ropes but right now it's just a nuisance so um, yeah besides besides the fact that it needs to be lashed down and I need to add grooves, I do think that this works pretty doggone well. You can clamp your work, lean in to ease off the pressure, clamp it again, move it around, lean back, and it's clamped again. Longer pieces, you'll either have to increase your rope length or tilt your stock out to one direction, but yeah definitely has promise. Um, so I'm looking for feedback. Tell me what you think. If this sparks some ideas of how to make this better, um, let me know. And this is collapsible. You can, this, nothing in here is glued. So you can force these pieces apart and, uh, and fold it all up and make a pretty small package. But that's it. Let me know what you think.